So a number of you fine folks have written in and asked me to cover Cactus. Glance at My World posted a comment on YouTube and wrote, So I saw Cactus Leaves in the store today for 49 cents. Bargain. And I really wanted to get one, but I had no clue what to do with it. And Angela on uh, Facebook wrote in and said, Cactus Paddles. I've had them at a restaurant one night. They were very underwhelming. Maybe you can find a way to make them yummy. Well, glance in my world and Angela, I will do my best on today's WTF. Today's sponsor is The Noble Rot. You can check them out online at thenoblerot.com. The Noble Rot is a traveling wine saloon. They're all about getting folks together for a good time and enjoying and also learning about wine. Often they're doing events in New York, but I think that they do them all over the place. You should check them out online at thenoblerot.com and attend one of their kick butt events. So today we are talking about edible cactus. It's often also called nopales or cactus pads. While the exact origins of the cactus are sort of unknown, it's safe to say that it comes from Mexico. In fact, it's very old, which is not that unusual. It actually predates the Spanish coming to Mexico. Um, and it was the Spanish that brought it back to Spain and it sort of grows in Northern Africa and throughout different parts of the Mediterranean currently. Um, today, I'm in Texas and they're plentiful. They're at all the grocery stores and they're really cheap. However, I do know that they're sort of making their way around the United States and around the world. So it's quite possible that you could pick up some cactus paddles today at your local grocery store or farmer's market. They have this soft and sort of crunchy texture when they're cooked. Uh, they also produce a little bit of mucus the same way that okra does. However, if you cook it for a while and add a little acid to it, it'll sort of break through that. Won't be a problem. Taste-wise, they have maybe an asparagus, green bean, green pepper kind of thing going on. They're really nice. Health-wise, the cactus packs a lot of punch. It has a good amount of beta-carotene, iron, as well as vitamins B and C. Now, of course, you can go and find nopales out in the wild and pick them and eat them. You have to watch out for the little prickly thorns because that's not really comfortable to have in your skin. When you go to the grocery store, generally the majority of the thorns are already removed. However, I'm going to show you how to get out the little burrs that are left from where the thorns were pulled out. Now it's really simple. You're going to take your cactus, lay it down on the cutting board, take a chef's knife and glide it along the front of the cactus and just sort of swipe off any of those little burrs, those little bumps that are sticking up. To get around the edges, just simply cut around the edges and lose a little bit of cactus, but it's much easier than trying to like knock off all those little knobs individually. Now slice through the cactus as you would an onion. You're gonna make a few slits horizontally and then cut through it vertically, which will produce a nice dice. Now that you have some diced up cactus, we're going to make an omelet that's perfect for breakfast but it's also perfect for any other time of the day. Cactus works beautifully in an omelet, and this recipe's cool because you're getting actually two recipes. You're gonna learn how to make a badass omelet, plus you're playing with cactus. Put some oil in a pan along with your cactus, about a half a sliced onion, a tablespoon of cumin, salt, and pepper. Cook that up for a bit, then add about a tablespoon of vinegar or lime juice. Continue to cook until the onions start to caramelize, then remove that from the pan and set aside. Crack open three eggs and beat them until they're slightly light in color. You're not gonna add salt, you're not going to add pepper at this point because that will just break it down. You don't wanna do that, add it later. Also, no milk, no dairy. This is an omelet, you're not baking a cake. In a pan, add a tablespoon of oil and a tablespoon of butter. Melt them together over medium high heat. Once the pan is hot and the butter is bubbling, add the eggs and sort of scramble them with a wooden or rubber spatula while shaking the pan back and forth until they stop running. Once it starts to look like the eggs are about to stop running, you want to circle the pan around and make sure that all of the surfaces of the pan are coated with egg and there are no open patches. Now gently run your spatula along the edges to make sure that there's no sticking. And you can jiggle the pan around a little bit to make sure that it's not clinging to the bottom. At this point, you can season with salt, pepper, add some cheese if you'd like. I'm using a cheddar Monterey Jack mix. Then add the cactus onion mixture in a row in the center. Turn off the heat. Cooking an omelet is something that takes a little finesse. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. When you're first scrambling the omelet, what you're doing is trapping air and you're sort of really fluffing it up. It's going to make a really fluffy omelet. 
the fact that you're using a hot pan is gonna start to sear the bottom and you don't wanna cook eggs like this too low and too slow because they become rubbery. So you wanna get in and out quickly. Um, you also don't want to cook your vegetables in with the eggs because that's bound to make them rubbery. So always cook your vegetables first and then put them in and fold them in. Once the eggs start to lose their gloss and shine, they're basically tightening up. That's time to take them off the heat. Now fold one side of the eggs over towards the middle and wiggle the pan over a plate to ease the eggs out, edge first, so the omelet folds over itself. Then if you're doing this cactus omelet, you can uh, deck it out with your favorite hot sauce and using sriracha and a bunch of cilantro. I promise you this is going to be delicious, one of the best omelets of your life. Tune in tomorrow for another What's This Food, and be sure to check out our sponsor, thenoblerot.com. See you tomorrow.